Hello everyone, welcome to my channel at Easy Service where we make all survey practices to be easier. In this video, I will quickly show you on how to auto label using AutoCAD LAN desktop. Okay, so this um, is um, the, the operation of manually putting the labeling on your um, boundary line when you're putting on AutoCAD. So the system itself is just is, is going to generate the um, labeling for you just by doing what I want to show you. So this is what it's going to bring out when you open the AutoCAD work environment. So I've actually done some previous jobs before. So if you are working on a new job, you click on new. Okay, so on your new, you are going to give your job a title. So I'm not going to give this YouTube. Okay, so this is the project part and this is the project name and it's going here okay so the next thing to do is to so is to click on okay so when you click on okay it's going to bring this next prompt so here you use the default scale for all jobs which is um one to five hundred scale okay and uh, when you click on that you click on next when you're on next this is where you are going to do the setup for your linear accuracy. It's just like the same when you are doing the setup for units, unit setting up on um, normal AutoCAD. All right. So in this particular um, work environment of AutoCAD, okay, you are going to be doing the unit setup with this kind of um, environment. So just listen carefully how I'm going to set up the units. So it is going to be on meters for the linear precision okay you make it two okay so that is how it's going to approximate your distances for you it's going to approximate them to two decimal places all right for elevation perhaps if you're working with elevation so here you can leave it at three for the coordinates depending on your work ethics you can decide to leave it at three okay then um but i'm going to leave it at two so for your angular precision of course, we have degree and minutes on our survey plans. So we do not have degree, minutes, and seconds, which is three. And I'm going to make it two, which is degree and uh, minutes on our survey plans. Do we get that right? So these are the setting up here. Then here, you must choose not azimuths. Okay. So it's going to be reading your bearings from the north uh, pole. Okay. So when you are done with that, you click on next right here you leave it at default you click on next so here now the beauty of using autocad um land desktop is that you have the advantage to set your um coordinate system so i'm just going to set my coordinate system to the particular reference system and the zone so how to do that is to click here you can just decide to type Nigeria on your keyboard and um, it's going to lead you to the end part. So I'm just going to scroll down and um, to where Nigeria is. Okay, so here is uh, Nigeria. So I'm just going to click on Nigeria. So it's going to give me the different zones in Nigeria. So if you are working, if you are coordinate or your job where you surveyed your property is in the eastern part of Nigeria, where they use um, the NTM, the Nigeria Traverse Mercator, which is on Nigeria East Belt, Nigeria Mid Belt, and Nigeria uh, West Belt. So you are going to do, you are going to click the particular um, belt that you worked on, okay? But if you are working on some part of the um, western part of Nigeria, okay, you are going to choose the particular UTM because the um, western part uses the UTM zone, the Universal Traverse Mercator. Do you understand? So this job I'm actually using in the course of this video was done in UTM zone 31, the main UTM zone 31. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to click on next. So when I'm done this, you can leave it at the default. Click on next as well. Here as well, you leave it at the default. Click on next. Here, you don't need to do anything. Next. And here, you make sure you click on the defaults. 1 to 500 scale then you click on finish so it's going to give you the advantage to see all your precision setup and every other thing so if you're okay with that 
click on OK. So therefore, it is done. We have done the basic setting up. Please, if you do not understand, just rewind this video to do that very well because that will affect your auto labeling if you do not get that right. Do you understand? Please, if you have watched this video to this extent, just click on the um, notification bell as well as the subscribe button to support and encourage us to do more as well as drop your opinion under the comment section to know how more we can be of help to you thank you so when you are done with that i'm just going to run the scripts okay so i'm going to be dropping the particular um video tutorial on how to run scripts under this particular um uh, video description okay so i'm just going to run script i'm going to choose here go to run script to load my points so this is my script and i'm going to click on open all right so when you click on open and you could not find it you click on z enter e enter on your keypad okay so it's going to bring out the point for you so when you are done with that and you need to come and activate your old snap to here i have activated that then you click on the polyline polyline here okay the polyline icon here right so i'm just going to join my particular job okay i'm going to join my particular boundary remember you go clockwisely okay it's very important not that you go clockwisely so yes now you may decide to zoom or not so it's just that way okay just go to the particular point by which it is directing you to click on on the particular um coordinate so here we go i'm just going to click on enter when i'm done okay so that is just how to join the boundary line clockwisely and i want to do the auto labeling so these particular features here they're for the roads so i do not need them i'm just going to delete all that so therefore i've deleted that and um what i want to do is the setting up for the auto um labeling so how to do that is to go to label all right and um go to edit label styles all right when you are at this label starts here you are going to click on this drop shadow here and choose direction above distance below remember on our plans we have our distances inside of the plan why direction which are the bearings they are outside the plan so this is the idea here so direction above distance below you click on that so it's going to do the setup so you can decide to go and come and review your linear unit here you can see from what we did initially it is still there you click on ok angular unit as well it is still there you click on ok all right then you click on save and ok so here let me change my boundary line to red okay so when you are done you can decide to come and do the formatting of your test style here all right test I um, what you want to be using okay there are different test size so let me just use area all right and um, this is 2.5 okay and um, if you are good with the um, font height here and the width factor I'll just click on apply and close okay so to do the automatic labeling I've showed you on how to edit label style so the auto label you go to add dynamic label click on that then you choose the boundary line click on it and click on enter on your key board and here we go so as you can see this is the bearing between this particular point bdp1 to bdp2 boundary point one to boundary point two then you can decide to start moving it inside and uh, editing all right so as you can see this one here the distance is outside okay and um, the bearing is inside all you have to do is to click on it and um, change the um, position okay just to change the position
so thus that way so that is how it is for the bearing and distance auto label i hope you understand if you are in need of this particular software um just join our whatsapp group i'm just going to drop the link to downloading the autocad land desktop for everyone thank you for watching uh, don't forget to hit on the subscribe icon as well as the notification bell to support and encourage us see you next time